Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the decils of ungrouped data. Last time, may upload tayo yung video with regards to the quartiles of ungrouped data. And recap lang, when you say quartiles, these are the points or the three points that divides the given set of data or a distribution into three equal parts. So, ang target natin ngayon is to discuss about the decils. Now, what is the difference between the quartiles and decils? So, later on, may experience or may alaman nyo what is the difference between the two words. So, define muna natin what is meant by decil. The decils are the nine score values that divides the distribution or observations into ten equal parts. So, let's say for example, I have here a line wherein I want you to imagine that this line represents the given set of data. Okay? Again, this line represents the given set of data. Ngayon, we have your decile number 1 or D, D sub 1, D sub 2, decile number 2, decile 3, decile 4, decile 5, decile 6, decile 7, decile 8, and decile 9. These are the 9 scores that divides the whole distribution or observations into 10 equal parts. So from this point, from the lowest score up to decile number 1, this one represents the 10% of your data. And from this point up to decile number 2, this one represents the 20% of your data. And from this point up to this point, this is 30%. And this is to 40%. And from this point up to decimal number 5, this is your 50%. Kung apansin nyo, um, your decimal number 5, it is also your median. Or yung tinatawag dating quartile number 2 with respect to quartiles. And syempre kung ito ay 10, 20, 30, 40, 50%, syempre lahat sila ay multiples of 10%. So this is 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 100%. As you can see, nag, ito yung mismong definition na ating decile. Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 score points wherein it divides the whole observation into 10 equal parts. So ngayon, ang tanong dito, sir, uh, how do we calculate for the deciles of ungrouped data? Meron tayong formula na ginagamit. So for the formula for the decile, ito ha, tandaan mabuti ha, yung position ng inahanap natin because this topic is under measures of position. The formula for this is d sub k is equal to k over 10. Again, d sub k is equal to k over 10 times n plus 1 th. So ang target natin dito is to know first the position and using that position, we will locate that certain score that represents the different deciles. So para mas ma-appreciate nyo or malaman nyo yung ating formula kung para siya gamitin, I will give you two different examples where in dalawang given situations din yun na kung saan sana ma-master nyo yung pag-aaral with regards to deciles of ungrouped data. So let us solve a problem para mas maging familiar tayo with regards to decile. So the list below shows the test scores of 9 students. Meaning meron tayong, ang data natin, it came from the scores of 9 students in a test or a summative test maybe. So these are the scores. We have 18, 21, 20, 17, 15, 29, 27, 22, and 28. So ang target natin dito ngayon is find the third decile or D sub 3. And letter B is to find the seventh decile or D sub 7. Ngayon, before you dive into the formula that I gave you kanina, ang una yung gagawin dito is to arrange the scores or the distribution in ascending order. Meaning, pag sinabi natin ascending order, it is from the lowest papunta sa highest score. So, ang kailagawa ko dito, I will put some markings. So, we will start with 15 because 15 is the lowest. 15. Lagyan natin ng underline para matandaan natin. Followed by 17. Okay, underline. And next is 18. Sunod natin is 20. Followed by 21. 
Next natin is 22. Meron tayong 22 dito. Followed by 22, 27, 28. Okay. 27, 28. And lastly, 29. Bilangin natin kung 9 talaga siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Ngayon, uh, ang formula ng gabimitin natin, let's start with number 1. Find the third decile of or d sub 3. Yung formula natin is we will use the formula d sub k, di ba? d sub k, meaning that is d sub 3 is equal to, o, oh, lagyan natin d sub k na lang muna to start with d sub k is equal to k over 10 times n plus 1 and then th. Tandaan na, ang target natin dito is to calculate first for the position. Position muna, hindi, yung makukuha natin sagot dito, hindi yung, sagot, hindi yung pinakasagot natin. Position muna yung kinukuha natin. And to start with, since d sub 3 to, it will become d sub 3 is equal to your k is equal to 3. That is 3 over 10. And then, for the n naman, yung n natin, that is the number of observation or yung scores na meron tayo. Meron tayong 9 scores. So that's, this will become 9 plus 1. Okay? 9 plus 1. And then simplify muna natin yung, yung parenthesis. That is d sub 3 is equal to 3 over 10. Huwag yung munang simplify yung fraction. Times 10. Kasi 9 plus 1 is 10. Multiplying it, it will give us the answer of 30 over 10. Kasi 30, uh, 3 times 10 is 30 divided by 10. Your decile number 3 is located at the third position. Kasi 30 divided by 10 is 3. So, third position tayo ngayon. So, yung nasan po ngayon yung ating sagot? Kung wala tayo ng bagong marker. So, this one is properly arranged. Yung ating, third yung ating decile number 3 is third. This is the first. This is the second, okay? This is the third. Ito ngayon yung ating d sub 3. So, ang d sub 3 natin is 18. Ang decile 3 natin is 18. So, ganun lang simple yung pag-solve ng decile when it comes to this kind of examples. So, let's move on with item number 2. Find the 7th decile or d sub 7. So, direct natin. That is d sub 7 is equal to 7 over 10. Right? 7 over 10 and this is 9 plus 1. Kasi meron tayong 9 positions. Simplify natin yung parenthesis. This is d sub 7 is equal to 7 over 10 times 10 ulit. And then 7. So dito tayo dito d sub 7 is equal to 7 times 10. That will give you the answer of 70 over 10. Sorry. And ang ating d sub 7 is equal to 70 over 10. Yung pwesto niya sa ating list of numbers ay pang pito, 7. Kasi 7 times, ah, 7 divided by 10, that is 7. So ngayon, this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven. Ito ngayon, yung 27. Our answer here is 27. This is your d sub 7. So the answer here is 27. So, I hope na natutunan nyo yung first example natin kasi ito yung basic example na mabibigay ko sa inyo when it comes to decile of group data. And sa next part ng ating video, medyo complicated siya pero bear with me, kayang-kaya nyo siyang solve. Now, for the second example, medyo kakaiba siya kasi we will do interpolation in this example. So, let's have the first the second example. Find decile 6 or d sub 6 of the given set of data. You have four, uh, 45, 49, 46, 52. 59, 55, 46, 57, 63, 68, 73, and 69. So, bilangin muna natin ang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, we have here n is equal to 12. Meron tayong 12 scores sa ating data set. Ngayon, ang first step natin is to arrange these numbers in ascending order. So, we will start with this one, 45. The first number is 45. Followed by 46, we have two 46 here, 46 and 46. Tapos, meron ba tayong 47? Wala. So, I think the next one is 49. 
49 followed by 52. So now is 55 followed by 57. Sunod natin, meron pa ba? 57. Sunod natin is 59. Ito siya. Tapos sa uh, 60 na tayo. Then 63, 68, 69, and 73. Ito na sila. Ngayon, uh, after arranging this, gagamit tayo yung formula natin. Ang ating formula ngayon, since this one is d sub 6, we will use d sub 6 is equal to your k which is 6, 6 over 10 times n plus 1, this is your n, you will have here 12 plus 1, okay, to th. Ngayon, uh, for this case, I, I suggest na gumamit kayo ng calculator niya. So ako magamit ako ng aking calculator. Dito, we have here uh, 12 plus 1, that is d sub 6 is equal to 6 over 10 times 13. Okay, tapos i-multiply natin yung 6 saka 13. That will give us the answer of 78. So d sub 6 is equal to 78 over 10. Ngayon, kailangan natin i-divide yung 78 by 10. Siyempre, since 10 naman yung denominator natin, yung pwesto na ating d sub 6 is equal to 7.8. Pang 7.8 siya. Okay. Ngayon, di ba, unlike sa nauna natin example, uh, exact yung position nila. Dito meron tayong decimal. So, gagamit tayo ngayon ng interpolation. Una, since 7.8 siya, identify muna natin which one is the 7 and the 8. Ito yung 7th natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ito yung 7th natin. At yung 8th score natin. Ngayon, sir, paano po yung interpolation? Paano po natin gagawin yung interpolation? Simple lang naman yung step natin. Interpolation. Para makuha natin yung eksaktong value ng aking decimal 6. So, for interpolation, you will subtract the 8th and 7th score. Again, subtract natin yung 8th saka 7th score. So, that is... Um, ano magandang solution natin dito? D sub 6 is equal to, ang gawin natin dito ay 7, ating po, ito yung ano natin, plus yung ating point 0.8 is 0 0.8. Again, 7 at 0 0.8 yan eh. So, gawin natin dito 7 na lang. At 7 para 7. Yan. Then 0 0.8. So, para mag, sa 0 0.8 natin na magiging formula natin dito is 8 minus the 7th score. Kasi yung kailangan natin makuha is yung exact value. Yung ating 7th score ay 57. So that is 57 plus 0 0.8 times yung ating 8 which is 59 minus 57. Okay. So 59 minus 57 that is 2. This is 57 plus 0 .0 0 0.8 that will give us 2. Ngayon, i-multiply natin yung 0 0.8 by 2 and that will give us 1.6. So, this is the uh, D sub 6 is equal to 57 plus 1.6. Sir, yun saan ko nang galing yung 1.6? Yung 1.6 natin, it came from uh, 0 0.8 times 2. Therefore, yung exact value na ating D sub 6 is equal to 58 0.6. So, ito yung sagot natin ngayon. Ibig sabihin, yung ating D sub 6 is between. Ito. Kasi diba 58.6 between 57 and 59 or 7 and 8 uh, score. So, I hope na ano, nakuha niyo yung process natin on how to calculate for the decile of ungrouped data wherein in this video we define decile and we also illustrate decile and in example number two, ay number one, nag-try tayo mag-calculate for the decile kapag exacting position. And for number three, or for example number two naman natin, 
it's quite complicated kasi gumamit tayong interpolation kasi yung position natin is merong decimal. So, kung meron kayong tanong or yun na question or requested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below para mabasa kita. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe na rin. At hit mo pala yung ball button para updated ka sa ating videos. So again, it's me, Matthew Chergon. Maraming maraming salamat.